welcome to another Peaky Board Gamers episode. My name is Hector Rakos and today I will teach you the game Arboretum. The game was designed by Dan Kassar and was brought to us by Renegade. The game is for 2-4 to four players and takes about 30 minutes to finish. There's not a lot to say about the game, players create a garden of trees and the best garden will determine the winner. Let's move to the table and see how the game is played. The game uses a deck of cards with 10 similar sets of tree types. In the game, players alternate turns playing one card into their arboretum, trying to create paths that will worth victory points at the end of the game. The twist in arboretum is that in order to score your paths, you need to also gain the right to do so, otherwise you don't score them. After all three types are scored, the player with the most victory points will win a game of arboretum. At first, separate all the cards of the game to the 10 different suits. Each one of the suit has 8 cards numbered from 1 to 8. If this is a 4 players game, you will need all the cards. In a 3 players game, however, you need to select any 8 suit. Finally, a 2 players game is played with only 6 of the suit. Shuffle all the selected cards to create a face down stack and return all unselected cards back to the box. Select a player at random to be the starting player who will take the first turn and the player to that player's right will be the dealer. The dealer deals 7 face down cards to each one of the players from the main stack. This is the starting hand of players and players keep their hand secret at all times. Apart from the player's hand, each player has a personal virtual area called Arboretum where they'll be playing cards during the game. The player's score at the end will be determined by these cards placed here. Last but not least, each player has a personal discard pile to discard cards. The game is played in turns starting with the first player and then continuing in a clockwise order until the game's end is triggered. A player's turn consists of the following. First the player must draw two cards and add them to their hand. The source of these two cards is either the general stack or any player's discard pile, even the phasing players. A player may use different sources or even the same source twice to take these two cards. In the very first turn, the player has no alternative than to take these cards from the general stack. Player takes one, checks it, adds it to their hand, takes the second one, checks it, adds it to their hand. Let's now jump to the third round of the game. You may only take the top card from a player's discard pile and after you choose the first one, you may decide to take the second one as well or choose from any other source. After you're done drawing cards, you must then play any one card from your hand into your arboretum. The last step is that you have to discard again any one card from your hand into your discard pile. Then it's the next player's turn. When you take your first turn, you simply start your arboretum by placing the first card. In subsequent turns, the only restriction is that the new card has to be placed orthogonally adjacent to any other card in your arboretum. So in this turn, I could place the card, let's say, here. And in my next turn, I could place the card in any of these options. When during a player's turn, that player draws the last card from the general stack, that player completes their turn and then the game ends and we move to scoring. When players place cards into their arboretum, they are trying to create paths between same type of trees. I will explain this shortly. This here is that player's arboretum just before scoring. In scoring, players use this scoring pad and score each tree type in the order depicted on the pad. The twist here is that besides having paths into your arboretum, you must also gain the right to score them. The first tree type to be scored in the scoring pad is the blue pine tree. First, all players must reveal all blue pine tree cards they have in their hand. Now, the player who will score the blue pine tree path into their arboretum is the player that will reveal the highest total of blue pine tree cards from their hand. I have revealed a good 10, that player 1 and this player 3. However, the card with the value 8 turns to 0 if any of the opponents has revealed the one value card. 
So my total is only 2, that player is a 1 and this player is a 3. So which player will score their pine trees into their arboretum? It's that player. If there is a tie, then all tied players will score the tree type being scored into their arboretum. Later on, during the same scoring, I have managed to gain the right to score my oaks. So let's now see what the path actually is and how it is valued during scoring. To have a path, you need to have at least two cards of the tree type being scored into your arboretum. Here I have four oak cards, so I may select any two of them to be my starting and last card. The path is traced by starting from one card and then moving to adjacent cards until you reach the second card. You may only move to orthogonally adjacent cards and on each step you must move to a card with a higher value. I could choose these two cards for my path. I start with 3, then move to 4, then 6 and then 8. Or I could go 3, 4, 7, 8, which is also valid. However, if I choose 2 and 8, I can create a larger path. 2, 3, 6, 7, 8, a 5 card path. As you already realized, I don't have to pass from all my oak cards and I can also trace root by moving over cards of other tree types. Each card of the path worths one victory point, so I gain five victory points. In addition to that, if the path starts with a one value card, it's an additional one point, and if it ends with the eight value card, it's an additional two points. So my path in total scored seven victory points. I have just changed the situation on my arboretum a bit to give you the last scoring rule. If a path consists of at least four cards, here we have a five card path, and also consists of the same tree type, the one being scored, the player gains an additional one point per card. So this path worths five victory points because it's a five card path, another five points because it consists of the same tree type and it's also a path with four or more cards, and another two for this eight a total of 12 victory points. Players continue scoring all three types that are in the game and then tally up their scores. The player with the most victory points is declared the winner. If there is a tie, the tied player with the more different tree types into their arboretum is the winner. If the tie still exists, then all tied players share their victory. And that was all the rules of Arboretum. If you like this video and want to see more, please subscribe to my channel. And until next time, have fun and play more board games.